It has been 19 days since President Obama announced an executive action to begin fixing the broken immigration system in the country and to take out more than 5 million undocumented immigrants out of their shadows. Here in Minnesota, La Asamblea de Derechos Civiles has had a consistent battle searching for a pathway to citizenship. Leaders of the group say they are looking at the president's order as a small victory on their end, but know the fight continues for another 6 million. Emilio Ramos has more. De mi propia historia, 13 años. It has been a long battle searching for a defined path to citizenship. No hemos parado. <laughs> That's exactly what a Minnesota immigrant activist group has been advocating for years. Nosotros necesitábamos a una representación llevar nuestras quejas directamente a los representantes y es por eso que se inició la Asamblea de Derechos Civiles. Many times challenging the law. Raising a voice for an entire community in need. Yo sentía, presentía que tenía que pasar algo. Ya era demasiada la presión de la comunidad sobre del presidente. O sea que teníamos nuestra presión sobre el Congreso. I said before Thanksgiving, the Republicans uh, would fight his unilateral actions. We're looking at a variety of options, both for right now and. Uh, when uh, Republicans uh, control both houses of the Congress. Those comments from Speaker of the House John Boehner come days after the president announced his executive action order to begin fixing the broken immigration system in the country. We'll take steps to deal responsibly with the millions of undocumented immigrants who already live in our country. And though the executive action won't affect everyone, you will get. <laughs> the group feels this was a small victory for them. Too many things in my heart, too many things, feelings, but we won, we won the last. Something Antonia was able to thank President Obama in person. Aquí fue donde le estaba yo diciendo, eh, señor Presidente Obama, gracias por cinco millones de personas que van a quedar libres, pero vamos a continuar la lucha. The group now focuses on making sure the undocumented community prepares their documents so when it's time to apply, they are ready. 17 states have sued the president, claiming putting a stop to deportations is illegal. Let's look at some interesting numbers. In 2009, the Pew Research Hispanic reported 11.2 unauthorized immigrants were living in the U.S., making up for 3.5% of the nation's population. That number today has gone up. The majority of these people are from Mexico. And interesting, too, when you look at the numbers from the Department of Homeland Security, 134, 198 Mexicans become U.S. citizens in 2013.